हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो इस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप नेम एज विलोसिटी एच डी सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वॉट इज विलोसिटी एच डी वर आर वट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन वेल टिल यू दैट हाउ यू download on your mobile phone and how you configure them to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one and please press the bell icon so that you get the notifications of of all upcoming videos so keep watching so hf velocity or velocity hd is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile screen it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote location over the internet now by by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera if we are talking about its feature and function then you can able to view live, live view of the camera you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc you take up of the recorded videos you take the backup of the recorded videos and many more now i will tell you that how you install or on, on your mobile phone for this you should open play store and search for hf velocity and when you search for hf velocity or velos you find the first software velocity hd just click on this and and after that click on install when you click on install it will take time to download on your mobile phone so just wait for the download to be completed and after that it is start installing and once it is start install installed when it is it is installed completely then start scanning the app whether it may whether it is Uh, secure or not and after that if it if it find secure then you you should op- find the option open now it is uh, downloading is complete now it is start installing now the installing is complete it is start checking whether it is secure or not let the checking process to be completed now it find safe just click open just click on agree basically this app is a high focus app it means just click on escape and click on start now after this is the interface of the app so the first thing you should do you should click on the left top corner and here you find option login i don't go with the login because i just make a video for educational and training purpose so i just only tell you whatever the option is important again just go to the server list and after server list just click on the right top corner three dot button and here you find the option like manually add scan code to add lens search generate device short by name so if you we will start discussing with the third option lens search basically if your mobile phone and your and your device mean dvr anywhere is on the same network then you should click on this lens search otherwise you should click on the manually add okay and the second option is scan code to add just click on this okay again just click click this only this time so to start scanning so if you are in front of the device then you should scan the qr code from here but if someone sent that qr code you should access your gallery also like this so how you get this scan qr code so basically when you log in your 
I device means DV when you log into DVR and VR and go to the network option and try to find option NAT and just when you ab enable NAT you find the option you find the QR code or the serial number you should scan that QR code here and the, your device serial number added automatically okay now if someone send you that serial code and if you want to connect by using a local IP address or a static IP address then you should click on the manually add okay here you find the two option like serial number IP domain if your device is connected if you want to connect by using a local IP address or a static IP address you should select IP domain and if you want to connect with serial number then you should click on this serial number where do you get serial number again you should log in your DVR or NVR and go to the network option and go to the net option when, when under the net option you find that small code that code is basically a serial number so in my case I have a serial serial number so just I go with that so I just enter my a serial number and in device name you should put any name which, which you easily remember okay and again it asks for a username and password please note that please don't be confused here it is a username and the password of the device device means the device you are adding it may be ip cam it may be dvr it may be nvr whatever you device you are adding in my case i, I am using i am adding nvr so i just use internet username and password of my nvr So now it added successfully now this process is totally dependent on the internet speed at your mobile device and at the remote locations so please wait once it is successfully connected this signal turns green and you got the C you got the model number of your device like in my case I have a TD 3116 B2 so first thing you should do you should click on the play button like this okay so this is the way to add your device now just double click any cam and the first option you find that starting from the bottom the first option is three dot button just click on the three dot button and here you find the manual alarm notification so basically if your device is AI having an AI feature then you search that record from here for example if your, if your device is facial recognition if you add a facial recognition camera then you then you search your record by here from here if you have any NPR camera and you want to search the log of your vehicle then you should click here and second option is the play button just click on the play but button it will redirect you to a recording page like this okay now it will redirect to your recording page now just wait for a few minutes let the recording to be loaded so now you find that this turns green it means that it, it it shows your record recording now again it will take time to show you that how many days it record so just wait for the few uh, few seconds for a few minutes because maybe the internet connection is weak so you are not able to fetch okay so in this way you can check the record for example if you want to check a record of the 30th or 12th just click on this and let the down after that you should select for example i want to check a record of the 4 am 13th of december then it will 
show me like that okay so in this way you can check the record of the camera it totally depend on the internet speed this back and after that you find the four square button basically that button is used to change the view of the camera just click on that and click on any other view like this so in this way you can change the view of the camera and the just double click any cam and after that you find the option like speaker just click on this if your voice is camera is audio enabled then you are able to hear the voice of the camera and after that you find the option mic just click on the mic option just click on the mic option and after that if you want to communicate with your device then you should you should do by using this option like this and just click on this hello 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 in this way you can you can use the mic option now just single tap on the screen and here you find the option i option just click on that and here you find the two option like low definition or super definitions just click on the super definition if you do this your camera become more clear and if you want to record the live view of the camera just click on this and click on the record live view so in this way uh, you can use this app thanks for watching thank you have a nice day